Hello reptile friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is India aka Anachondriac and today I'm going to be weighing all my reptiles for you guys. So it's a really important aspect of reptile husbandry to keep on top of your pet's weights. You should really be weighing them not every week then every couple of weeks because one of the first signs that something is going wrong with your pet is that its weight drops or it stops putting on weight. So yeah it is a really good idea for you to weigh your pets regularly so you can stay on top of their weight and that's what I'm going to be doing today with you guys. So today I am going to be weighing my two bearded dragons, Spyro and Sparks and all six of my snakes. Now I weigh them in a really useful box which is on top of just an ordinary kind of electric kitchen scale. Don't worry, I do disinfect the box between each of the animals but I won't be doing that on camera just because it takes a bit of time. But if you are using one container to put different kinds of animals in, always remember to disinfect because you don't want anything passed between your animals. So yeah, let's start with the bearded dragons. Let's start with Sparks. So the first pet that we're going to be weighing today is Sparks, my male bearded dragon. There we go. There we go, Sparksy. Now I know you can't see the dial because of the angle of the camera, but Sparks is 468 grams today, which is wonderful. Sparks eats like a champ. He's really healthy. Um, the only issue Sparks does have is sometimes he gets a little bit of stuck shed at the end of his tail But we keep on top of that and we give him regular baths But he is happy, he's healthy and he really doesn't like to be weighed So I will get him out of there right now Here's Sparks, he just so you can get a bit of a better view of him He is my wonderful boy, I love him very very dearly He absolutely adores having his chin scratched That's his favourite thing which is funny because my female, Spyro, she hates it. She hates having her chin touched, so it does go to show that they all have their unique little personalities. <laughs> yeah? Don't you? You my boy? And now we have Spyro, who is my female bearded dragon. And she is actually the oldest of all of my pets. I have had her since I was 17. She is my oldest friend and she is absolutely gorgeous. So when we got her she was already exhibiting some signs of MBD and we are still treating her for that. She gets regular vet visits, our vet is absolutely wonderful with her and she is just a princess, she's a gentle giant so let's see how much she weighs. So the scale says that Spyro today is weighing 589 grams. She is a lot more chilled out than Sparks, she won't try and escape from the box. But I'm going to pop her back now and um, disinfect the tub again and then we can move on to the snakes. So the first of our snakes to be weighed today is Cleo and she is not in a very good mood today so I will keep this as short and sweet for her as possible. She is currently weighing 340 grams. Now I do try and keep an eye on Cleo's weight very carefully because she is prone to going on hunger strikes. She stresses out very easily and that is a symptom of her wobble syndrome. And when she gets stressed she does tend to go off her food so we try and keep Cleo's life as stress free as humanely possible. Also ignore the black dots and the bit of brown staining on her, she is prone to actually getting a bit stained by the eco earth and it really does stick to her so don't worry, it's not mites, it's just eco earth. So let's pop Cleo back and I'll get Louie out. So now we have Louie, my lovely banana ball python who doesn't want to detach from my arm it seems. Come on bud. And Louie currently weighs 558 grams, which is amazing. Which means that he has put on just over 200 grams since I got him. I'm very proud of Louie and how well he eats. He eats like a champ. He is just an all round, very well behaved snake. And as you can see, he is very curious. He does like to explore. So next up we have Rocket, who seems very, very small compared to Louie. You can see his absolutely gorgeous highway patterning just here. He's such a gorgeous boy. So let's just pop him in the tub and see how much he weighs. So now that he's in the tub, we can see he weighs 263 grams. Oh, 
<laughs> so little. So Rocket is still very small and part of the reason is he is actually quite a picky eater. But as of right now he is eating fine and I'm really pleased. I think we are overcoming his picky eatingness. So there we go, that's Rocket, my absolutely gorgeous little baby boy. So next we have Astro and he is the last of my ball pythons. And he is around the same age as Rocket but he is a little bit bigger and that's because he eats every single meal like a champ. So with that being said, let's get him in the tub and see how much he weighs. And the scale says 276 grams. I'm really pleased with that, he has been growing really steadily so far and I'm really hoping that that will continue. I absolutely adore Astro's colours, just look at him, he is so stunning. I love his blue eyes as well, he's just this kind of pale grey purple colour, he's just absolutely stunning. He's my pretty little boy and I love him. So now we are moving on from our ball pythons and on to Starburst, my Brazilian rainbow boa. Here we go Starburst. Yeah. He doesn't want to let go of my hand. Come on, boy. So even though he kept trying to escape, Starburst actually weighs 103 grams. Although he still looks really small, he's actually grown so much since I got him. And I'm really pleased with how much he is growing. Just look at his absolutely wonderful colours. Isn't he amazing? He is truly beautiful and I can't actually believe that a snake like this comes from nature. You can see his little heart really well just there, that's one of my favourite things about his markings, it's so cute. And you can kind of see the rainbow iridescence that gives Brazilian rainbow boas their name. Just if I tilt him so slightly so he catches the light you can just begin to see it. So Starburst is just generally a 10 out of 10 good boy. He is really really lovely and I hope you love him as much as I do. When I have Starburst out he will just use my arm as a branch and just try and explore every inch that he can. <laughs> see how much he just wraps himself around like I'm a tree branch. So now that you've had the chance to see Starburst in a little bit more detail let's go on to the last of my pets. And last but certainly not least is Tiny who is still getting used to being handled so she is very flighty at the moment but that's okay we're working on it. And Tiny weighs a gigantic 6 grams and you probably won't believe it but she's already grown a lot since I rescued her. So you can just imagine how small she was if she's only just 6 grams now. If you would like to see a bit more of Tiny, you can see her in a lot more detail in my How to Feed Your Baby Corn Snake video. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed weighing my animals with me. I can't emphasise to you enough how important it is to keep track of your pet's weight and I hope this video has convinced you to do so with your own pets if you haven't already. So I'm thinking of actually making this a regular series on my channel where every month or every couple of weeks I will weigh my reptiles for you guys and I think it'll be a really nice way for you to see each one of my pets every single month even if a particular animal that you want to see doesn't get featured in a video, you'll still be able to see every single one of my reptiles in the weighing video. So if you like this video, please leave me a comment down below and you can always give the video a big thumbs up too. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and hit the little bell notification button and then you'll never miss one of my uploads. And if you haven't had enough of me and my pets already, you can now find me on Instagram at anachondriac the same way that it's spelt here on YouTube. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.